We're here today at Garrick Farm near Kelso in the Scottish Borders, which is farmed by Andrew Forster and his family. Garrick is one of nine nutrient network farms that's been set up across Scotland to act as a hub to encourage best practice in soil and nutrient management, to share ideas and put those out to the wider and local communities. We're here today at Garrick to see Andrew's sp fertiliser spreader being calibrated and we'll look at some of the key checks that you need to carry out when doing that. I've been asked to come out and do a fertiliser spreader test on the spreader that we've got here. Before we actually ever go into the field and put the trays out, we, we generally give it an MOT, uh, check over the spreader and look for any faults that we might find on it. We check the PTO speed to make sure that the tractor is actually um, putting out a PTO speed that it says it's putting out. The main things that we're looking for are that the veins are in good condition. You're also always looking for any damage to the spreader whatsoever. This one doesn't seem to have any sign of damage on it, which is a good thing, obviously. So the next thing we'll look at on it, I'll uh, have a look inside. We'll be looking at the agitators. The agitators need to be working correctly. They're there to feed the fertilizer correctly through the shutters of the spreader and correctly onto the disc. Because if they're not going correctly onto the disc, it's not coming off correctly. First thing is that the agitators are complete and that they're turning correctly. The next thing below the agitator, we have a little dome. In time, we'll get way and we'll get a gap. The main thing to do with it now is um, get her out into the field and we'll get some fertilizer into it, get the trace set out and see what we'll come up with. Quick run through how we set the trays out. Uh, depending on the width that we're testing, we set the we set trays out accordingly. In this case, we're setting out for 21 meters. We've got a centre tray. That's where a tractor runs through with a spreader. We'll have a tray set out one meter apart across until we get halfway across whatever your width is. In this case, 21 meters. We have two trays touching here, 10 and a half meters. So that would be halfway to your next tram line. We then carry on with enough trays after that to catch the bulk of the fertilizer. And our job is then to balance out the two overlaps so that eventually when you've gone, if you go one way, then the other way across the field, we get hopefully to get as near as we can to an equal rate right across the field. So this is what we've got on my first attempt. I hope you can see that. Um, what we we're looking for is, as I say, a generally straight line through there. It's marginally a little bit short on the, at the twelve, at the, sorry, at the ten and a half meter mark. Uh, we'll have slightly more, less fertilizer in there than what we do actually behind the tractor. It's not a not a bad pattern, but I think we possibly, hopefully, can improve on it slightly. So this is what we've done, um, we've, we've altered the settings a bit, we've increased the angle of the spreader by a couple of degrees, where ends are, are much more uh, equal with our outsides now, so hopefully we've got a, a far more accurate rate across the pattern. That pattern that we have there is well below accuracy of 10%, um, and if you're getting anything under 10% it's classed as, as an excellent pattern. This is the better pattern, more equal through the whole thing, and this is what we're trying to achieve. 